we're changing the background. So right now in Sculptress, we have just basically the uh, gray background that comes with the program. But you can change that. And you can change the color, you can make it an image. We're going to show you how to make it an image. So, uh, you go into options, excuse me, and you can select your background. Uh, press that. And so it'll open up and into your browser. You can choose to pick out an image from whatever file you have. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pick out a branch, a background that has branches. Um, I, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, I mean, eventually it would, but uh, for a demo, I'm not being very particular at this point. So it's a branch photo that I'll save. In a file that I know. Let's see. Go back to this. Go to options. Go to background. I saved it in uh, folder six. There's my branch photo. Press OK. All right. So let's delete this. So that's what I have in Sculptures right now is a background and since it's not been formatted it's probably not necessarily the same uh, well it looks like it's probably the same proportion but uh, that's not always going to be the case sometimes you'll have to format it to get the proportion correct you do that with some kind of photo editing software um, if you had any questions about that I'd be glad to answer that so what you do at this point what we do with it is I had a reason for picking a branch. So I'm going to show you. Let me see. Uh, my logic. I didn't want. Let's see. Let's click on the symmetry. All right. Control D. And then select that one. I'll delete that one, although I could have probably used it. Now I've got one left. Let's pick out a color that might make sense. Um, right. All right. Not a great. So right now you can see that um, I'm positioning it on that branch. Is it believable? I don't know. Is that material contrasty enough? Let's see. All right, that kind of helps. We can see the contrast. So this is where you'd want to pick out the right background image and make sure that the material uh, works together for you. But I'm not done yet. So um, we're going to try. Let me see if I can find it. So we got a little fake little nature scene going on here. Um, we could probably scale that up because tree frogs are not very big. So it, it could be like a battle between a tree frog and a praying mantis. So um, and it's going to take place on the beach apparently and on a dry branch. So um, let's see. Try to look for the material that makes sense. That's on this. Uh, 
So, uh, you could go into paint mode and paint it. Uh, that's not my area's expertise. I don't use paint mode, but I think this is a case where you might want to do that. You go into paint mode and paint it, pressing this, and it's a one-way uh, direction. You can't go back into sculpting once you do that. It's a finishing touch. So, um, anyway, hopefully this uh, gives you a chance to kind of think about how you want to build a scene, make a composition using different models. Um, background obviously could be whatever scene you want it to be and uh, just have fun with it.